I'm going to try to do a little tutorial here about creating laser gun sound effects. Um, I'm not very good at creating laser gun sound effects, so this tutorial is probably not going to be great, but if you have no idea how to start, uh, it might be, you know, better than nothing. So anyway, first thing, go to tracks, add new, audio track. Um, Go to Generate, Chirp, select Sawtooth Wave, and I'm going to go from about 1200 hertz to about 50 hertz. Uh, amplitude about 0.7. Length is going to be 0.2 seconds. So it's about a fifth of a second. Let me zoom in on this a little bit so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Um, just that by itself is pretty cheesy uh, I mean it does kind of sound like a laser gun so if you had no idea what you're doing that's better than nothing already right uh, first thing to do is duplicate that guy and slide him over a little bit and by sliding him over you get this kind of phasing effect and you kind of just experiment with how much you slide it over because how much you slide it over it just depends how the waves interact what it's going to sound like and then track mix and render And I'm going to cut off the front of this thing because so there's that. Now, one more thing you can do is go to the phaser effect. Now, like a really low frequency, um, more on the wet side, pretty wet. Uh, start frequency hardly matters, or a start phase. I guess um, depth, pretty good depth feedback, not too much because you don't want to. That'll push it off center. So that gives you a little bit. Um, one thing you can do is add a little bit of noise in, kind of like an explosion. If you saw my other tutorial, a little bit of that explosion mixed in kind of works pretty well. So I'm going to add a new track, generate white noise, and this thing doesn't let you go. I don't like this time thing, but one second, and cut off this part so that it's more or less the right length. Effect, fade out. Duplicate, effect, fade out again, effect, change speed, boost it a bunch, duplicate, effect, fade out, effect, change speed, OK, effect, low pass filter we do 50 hertz effect amplify ok effect low pass filter 200 ok effect amplify ok effect Low pass filter, 750, something more or less. We still want to leave a little bit of the front end of the high frequencies. Uh, amplify, amplify, where, where it is? There it is. Alright, let's select all this, see what it sounds like. Kind of 
sort of starting to sound a little bit like a laser. Mix and render. Let's try another phaser on that because we didn't put a phaser on that noise. Phaser. Uh, I don't want to put exactly the same phaser on, although I'm not sure it really matters. Change the frequency, change the start frequency a little bit. Depth. Just move these things around a little bit. I'm not sure it really matters, but let's change the speed on this whole thing. Speed it up because it seems a little slow. So that's kind of a little laser pistol sound. Um, <clears throat> let's undo that speed though. And if you take the back hat, just the back end of this, you get a shorter one. You can take a little part of it. Uh, let's say, let's say, track, add new audio track. Um, let's grab. Grab some of this lower stuff. Let's say I'm gonna let's say hit copy and it paste effect repeat. I'm gonna make uh, twenty of them. So you get this kind of buzzing thing going on. Um, effect fade out. What we got here? I'll mute this one. So just this thing by itself, you get this weird uh, buzzing thing. Let's duplicate that. I'm zoom out here so it'll fit on the screen. Um, slide one of these things over. You can get some kind of phasing going on. So we do that, mix and render these two. In fact, do the phaser thing again. So that's kind of some interesting sounds you can get out of that. Um, not exactly laser gun sounds, but maybe like, uh, I don't know, if you had a video game with some kind of electrical weapon or something, that, that might work. As a kind of a, you know, electrical shocking sound or something. Like I said, I'm not great at laser guns. See what we can what else we can do. What if we slide this one over some more? Ooh. See how much it changes? You get a nice and just by moving it a tiny bit, you get quite a lot of change in the quality of the sound or in the timber of the sound just because of the way the waves line up. It's kind of neat. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, most of this was, uh, to sum up, you start with a sawtooth wave about 12, with a chirp going from about 1200 hertz to about 
50 yards or so in 0 0.2 seconds. That's the basic starting sound for this sort of laser thing. And then you duplicate it, shift, shift them relative to each other in time so they get this comb filtering thing happening. Um, and then you apply the phaser effect. Um, you saw what I did, but th that's the gist of it. 1,200 to 50 hertz si uh, sawtooth wave, 0 0.2 seconds. And then you can change the speed around to get different effects. You can speed it way up to get a laser pistol and slow it way down and cut pieces out of it and stuff.